In this video, I'm going to be replacing the spark plugs in my 2007 Hummer H3. It's a fairly simple job and I'm going to be using AC Delco plugs. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove this fresh air hose that connects the air box to the resonator. And I'm just going to use an 8mm socket and loosen these clamps a little bit. And then this will pull right off. that out of the way. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is remove this back air hose that connects the resonator to the throttle body. Once again, it's just two clamps. We're not taking them off. All we're doing is loosening them. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is take a 10 millimeter socket and remove this bolt and this bolt, which will allow me to pull off the resonator. Okay, with those two bolts removed, the hose clamps loosened on the fresh air hose, this is just going to kind of wiggle right off. And then you get the hose underneath, and it goes into your valve cover, and you just want to make sure you pull that off and set this off to the side. Then the last thing I want to do is pull off this back hose. Now with that done, we've exposed our five ignition coils. We have a 10 millimeter bolt for each one. This one is kind of buried back behind this bridge. You are able to just kind of wedge a socket down in there to pull it off. Now, at this point, I would recommend you either label these to make sure you get them back on the right cylinders or simply just replace them one at a time. I am gonna do the one at a time method. So using my 10 millimeter socket, I am gonna start with this first one right here. Pull the bolt out so I don't lose the bolt. And then just pop this off. And I've now exposed the hole where the spark plug is. Now you can unplug the ignition coil, but I'm not going to. All right, next, I'm gonna use my 5 8 inch spark plug socket. Once it's on there, just go ahead and loosen it up. Doesn't take much. All right, and our first spark plug is out. And I am using AC Delco plugs in here, which is recommended by the manufacturer. All right, with that hand tightened, I'm going to take the torque wrench and I'm going to torque it to 13 foot-pounds. Once you hear the click, you're good to go. Occasionally, The socket gets stuck on the plug. So I just grab it with the needle nose pliers, pull it off. With that done. And we're gonna put the ignition coil back on. And then we're gonna go ahead and replace the bolt. Okay, with the finger tightened, we're going to go ahead and take our wrench and we just want to snug this in. We don't want it too tight. All right, first one's done. We will move on to the second one. Once again, remove the 10 millimeter bolt, pull this out. And we're going to remove the plug. We're going to continue this down the line until we get all five of the spark plugs replaced. Thank <laughs> you. 
put everything back together. Just going to slide the rear air hose over the throttle body and then I'm going to connect the resonator. The one thing to remember is the hose in the back on the resonator. You want to make sure you replace that on your valve cover, like so. Then we replace the bolts that mount the resonator.